What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me My name is Jessica I'm a mother's well as a makeup lover of course. So for today's video I'm doing a very wearable Black smoky eye get ready with me. I wanted to use the blend bunny all done up palette again um, I just really wanted to get into the black and the gray. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today um, I'm gonna be doing my eyes as well as my face makeup. Everything's gonna be super um, like full coverage, stale day, those are the vibes. So if you're curious to see how I achieved this full face makeup, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so for today, I wanted to use the Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up Palette again. And I'm gonna be going for the, this row. We're going for this row right here. I wanna do a like smoky eye. So I did already prime my lids and I wanted to try out too in my last video I didn't try out the unearthly cosmetic sponge look how funky this is I want to try this out so I'm gonna do that today um, but I'm actually gonna start by taking the gray shade the look this one right here right the look yeah I'm gonna take this morphe m4441 brush it's real fluffy guy here so I'm just gonna pick up a good amount of this shade look at that beautiful pigment and I'm just going to go around. I'm not going to lay any color down on the lid because I'm going to go in with some black. But I am going to like wing this out kind of. We're going to do a smoky eye. Wow, this is a really nice shade. I think this would be a nice, it's like a purpley kind of gray. Like I feel like there's like a purple undertone to it. Maybe a little bit of like a baby blue. Maybe like a periwinkle undertone. I'm gonna make sure the other side matches before I move on. But you can see I didn't bring it down to my lid. So I have some like base, like kind of wet base right here. So the black will really stick and pop. So now I'm going to take this Makeup Shack T44 brush. There is some shadow on it, but I'm going with the black. So it's really going to cover this up. And this was like a brown. It's totally fine. Um, so I'm going to take the shade Smoke In. And you know what I really want to do is... Um, I, I wish I had like a shiny black shimmer. I used to have one. I had this palette. Um, it was by... Um, vanity makeup I believe and I had I don't know if you guys remember I had all my palettes on a shelf my kid pulled the shelf down and he pulled down all of my eyeshadow palettes and that one $100 eyeshadow it's like $90 eyeshadow palette shattered and I was like I think that was like my only black shimmer let me see actually okay I do have this the dollhouse palette also by blend bunny cosmetics has this shade in here called harley quinn which kind of looks maybe like a little bit greeny let me see. Let me swatch it. Nice and dark though. Yeah, let's do. We'll do that one. And I'll try out the Glimmer Grasp again. Not that I think it needs it, but I really want to test that out. So let's start with the shade Smoke In. Let's pack that down. So I wanted to go for this, like, so this is a packing brush, but it's also fluffy, so I'll be able to blend with it as well. And I also, since I'm like patting black down I wanted to do my eyes first to make sure that there's no fallout that I can't fix so I always start a little at a time right in the middle and then I'll start blending the edges out and then I just keep doing that until I have a really nice mix of the two Okay, so this is kind of where I'm at with the black. Now I'll go back into the shade, the look. And I'm just gonna go right over the edges to make sure that they're seamless. Wow. This is what the smoky eye is looking like. Super cute, I think. Um, so now I'm going to take the Under the Cosmetics Glimmer Grasp. 
I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna be taking the, the shade Harley Quinn from the Dollhouse palette. So I'm gonna take some on my finger and I'll pat it down everywhere and wipe it off a little bit much. Um, I'm gonna pat it everywhere where I want that shimmer to really pop. And this will also be the test too since I'm wearing this out. Um, if it's gonna crease. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. Ooh. Yes. So I'm actually gonna start with a little bit of the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, liquid highlighter. Shade Lightning. I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks. For today, I'm gonna to be taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, shade Mont Blanc. Put some of this on my hand. I'm gonna take a little bit of the blue LA Girl pigment, shade blue, to help color correct this a little bit. Just make it match my tone better. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it more cool toned. It's a little bit more yellowy on the yellowy side. And I find I have like a very neutral undertone. So it's gonna help match it much better. All right, and then I'm gonna take the little unearthly sponge. I'm gonna take the, this like an iron. I'm gonna take the fat end help me blend this out it's just so beautiful mm, mm. and when I put it mix it with just a little bit of that blue it's literally the exact shade that I need now I'm gonna take a take the makeup by Mario soft sculpt shaping stick shade light I seen this TikTok hack I wanted to try it so you take your contour mix it on your fingers That shaping stick is so pretty. All right, so for my concealer today, I'm gonna to be taking the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Concealer, shade Royal Icing. I do not like the way that this smells, but it is a really nice concealer. So I think I'm gonna take this end, so the top half, and I'm gonna smush it. Well, not yet. When I get into my like inner corner, I'll smoosh it. So far, I'm finding this sponge to be very multi-use. Let's see if I could get in there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. okay. beautiful I do feel like I need just a little bit more coverage so what I'm gonna do is I'll put some right here and I'll give that a second to set I'm gonna be taking the Jaclyn cream to powder blush stick shade royal flush because I'm doing like the whole maroon red vibe so I'm gonna melt some onto my hand and I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to apply it right here. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just making sure to tap out any creasing. And then I'm going to take a little poof. I'm going to take one of these little poofs. And I'm going to take the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This is shade Fair 120N. And I'm actually going to use this to set under my eyes. And I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. Um, and I'll use this on... I think I'm going to do a brush today. Camo CC Powder. Right under the eyeballs. Right. 
I just press it in. And then I take this fluffy brush with the Huda Beauty. And I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm going to take the NYX Professional Contour Kit. Just a little bit. Alright, so I know that everything still looks kind of intense, especially like um, under my eyes. Let's see what blush do I want to use. I think I'm going to use this P. Louise blush, and I think I'm just going to go in with these two shades mixed together. And I'm just going to use this to help blend my under eyes into my blush. Okay, today I'm going to be setting with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. What is this? The Flawless Setting Spray. I think today we'll take the Artist Couture Coco Bling Highlighter. The, the shade is Coco Bling. So let's finish up under the eyes now. So I'm going to just take the same shades on top as bottom. But I'm going to be very mindful of how far I take it down. Because I don't want everything to get too crazy. But I'm going to start with the black. And I'm actually not going to take this all the way. I think I'm going to take it about like a little past halfway. Went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit because you guys were a bit zoomed out. So then I'll dust that same brush off and then go with the shade the look. I'll go ahead and bring that the rest of the way. This is where I crease the most is in this section. So I want to, um, especially when I'm wearing my makeup out, I want to make sure that um, I don't have too much colorful shadow. Otherwise it will transfer down. And that's not a look. It's not the look get it because it's a shade we're using i'm going to take the ingla gel liner the black and i'm going to put that in my waterline and then i'm thinking i'm going to take this kvd lipstick this one's like a beautiful like ready shade it's gonna match look literally blends in um this is the shade dahlia kvd okay so here is the completed look i feel like this kvd lipstick has so much potential but it's kind of like like patchy like it is very comfortable and it's like super pigmented but i feel like it's not coating my whole lip the way it needs to but i mean it's such a pretty color i'm gonna keep it but i don't know i give it like a give it like a five out of ten for trying you know um but here is the rest of my face i think it looks super super pretty um i am so it is sunday um prior to like the day before Halloween um and I'm taking my kids to a little trunk or treat since Halloween is on a Monday um we're probably not gonna do much um so yes yeah, so we're gonna go trick-or-treating today so this is this is how I'm rocking today um uh, let's stick my teeth so yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and ahead roll the phone.